This is 2023 Auburn 482. Very nice blue bar hen. She is a uh, late summer 2023 late hatch. Uh, her parents are Iceman and Zoe, uh, two of my absolute best foundation breeders. Uh, Zoe is definitely my best one loft producing hen, and then Iceman is in the top two or three. Uh, both of them have bred numerous uh, one loft winners and then um, club winners as well. I'll get to that in a second. It's getting windy right as I do this video. Uh, this hen herself, uh, 482, again, as a uh, late summer hatch from last year. She was bred for stock because the parents are getting older. She is uh, medium small in size, uh, strong back, one pin tail. Um, tight vents, very good muscle, very soft feather. Uh, even though she's medium small, she's a uh, longer cast. She's still finishing up the molt a little bit, but uh, really nice length to her wings and great spacing in the final flights, which is what you need for longer races. Her mom has that. Actually, her dad has that too, but um, I'll get to her mom's record in a few minutes as far as her, uh, her race record. Uh, but her ninth flight's coming in right now. Still got to drop to 10th. But uh, other than that, about 95% done with the body molt too. But really nice wings. Uh, that is a perfect wing for flying longer, tougher races. Again, very nice feather, very soft and buoyant. Uh, nice wing vibration as well. Just kind of a longer streamlined bird. Not real long, but compared to her overall size, she's definitely longer cast. Uh, probably won't see it good right now because it's cloudy out, but... Uh, nice gravel pearl eyes. Both of her parents have tremendous eyes, but she has uh, a little bit darker eyes than the parents, but very good circle correlation. Um, really responds well to the beak pull test. Pretty calm bird in the hand, but uh, responds great to the beak pull test. A lot of character. Um, looks around quite a bit. So as far as the parents to this bird, uh, number 482, I'll get to the mother first just because she raced. Uh, the mother is Zoe. Uh, Zoe was probably the best long distance hen I've ever flown. Uh, she was a uh, second overall combine champion old bird, uh, fourth place long distance California State Hall of Fame, uh, eighth place all distance California State Hall of Fame, uh, first place combine at 400 miles as a yearling, uh, ninth place combine at 467 miles as a yearling, and then ninth place combine at 547 miles as a yearling. So just tremendous results for a yearling, especially on the slow mountain course we fly where all the longer races are very slow with heavy losses and just slow speeds and difficult coming over 10,000 foot mountains. Um, Zoe has bred, just off the top of my head, I'll probably forget one or two, but she bred... Uh, Equal first on the final race at 325 miles of the Golden Valley Late Hatch Classic 2021. Uh, that bird was also equal first on one of the shorter races and 12th place average speed. Uh, the following year, 2022, she bred 7th place on the final race from the Golden Valley Late Hatch Classic. Uh, that bird won 6,000. It was just one minute behind the first drop, but it was technically on the second drop. Uh, she also bred 5th place in the Breeder Fall Classic. 2019, that was a really slow 1,100 yard a minute, uh, very tough race in solid overcast and headwinds. Uh, that bird was on the drop at third as well. Uh, she bred two birds that were equal first at 264 miles in the Cuevas Classic the same year, 2019. Uh, she also bred um, 11th place at 400 miles in the Cuevas Classic. That bird was a money winner. And I believe there's one more I'm forgetting about, but uh, one of those daughters uh, has already bred equal first club and combine as well. Uh, so just a tremendous um, breeding hen that actually, you know, had a great race record herself. And then she is related to Iceman. So this is a, a semi-inbred mating. Uh, Iceman, the father of this bird, a grizzle, uh, probably one of the best grizzle breeders in America. He bred um, first place at 350 miles and second overall ace pigeon of the Arizona Classic in 2017, one loft race. And then a few years later in 2021, he bred equal first uh, at the 327 mile Trapper's Loop one loft, uh, 2021, that was 327 miles. Uh, this year he bred uh, 19th place at 312 miles in the Plymouth Peak Pro Challenge. Uh, that same bird just did okay on the final, but it was um, which was like 360, 
but it was um, 28th overall average speed versus 450 paid birds that went to the first race. So still another good performance. Uh, he's also bred multiple first and equal first um, club winners. Uh, one of the daughters had like four or five first and equal first and was fourth club champion bird. Another daughter was first at four, uh, 285 miles and had multiple equal first. So just a tremendous breeder. So again, the parents, Iceman and Zoe are related. Uh, they're tied in together through evolution, which was my foundation cock in the mid uh, 2000s from like 2004 to 2010 range. Um, this pigeon herself again, uh, Auburn 42 from 2023, medium, small, uh, but very nice in the hand, really good muscle, even though she's, um, you know, below medium, this is probably the size I prefer somewhere between medium and medium, small, uh, very good muscle and just really well put together, nice spunk to her and all that. So another one of the really nice children that both of those birds have bred again, Auburn.